He just took me by surprise. And I stood there and I looked it into the eye. And as soon as it was on its way, I knew the time had come. My body froze. And I just looked with mouth wide open. And I thought to myself, this is it. It was true. But what is it that I could do? And I wanted to scream. But I couldn't. And I knew that one day this had to happen. But I never knew that it would happen like this. And I realized that right now, if I say to Allah, Oh Allah, I really, really, really am sorry. Sorry is too late. And as it starts to walk towards me, and I start to feel the shivers down my body, and I start to shake, and my body shakes, and I'm about to drop onto the ground. What takes over my mind in a flash is my entire life. And I look back, and I think to myself, what did I do? And I can see right across my life. And I see so many nights that I spent in playing games and laughter of my friends. And I did enjoy those moments, but damn, those moments are not going to help me right now. And if I could do it right now, I would run as fast as I could. But I can't, I'm frozen. And this body is frozen. And the moment that I've seen this thing come towards me, I know it's game over. And now it makes sense. All the relatives I see on their shoulders, on the right shoulder is an angel, and the left shoulder is an angel. And as I grasp my last moments, I see anything they are saying. And they're calling me by my name. And those angels are writing every act they're doing and everything they are saying. And I see my two own angels wrapping up their books. For this is my last moment that I've got. I am to be summoned in front of the King of Kings. I am about to travel to a court nobody can escape.